something I'm sorry about it. We appreciate the assistance, civilian, but what's your business here? Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. That all depends. How much are you paying? It's always about the money with you, isn't it? So you're a mercenary. Typical. Fine. You help us, and I'll see you're compensated for your services. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty. But I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The Deep Range Transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology, its power, its meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. This is just a fancy way of saying that you're looting everything you can get your hands on. Looting implies that we're attempting to benefit ourselves. That couldn't be further from the truth. So, what do you say? Will you help us? It's a good plan. If we make it back. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah.
Nothing to worry about. <laughs> This one's all mine. Hey. Point it out. Sure. Here's my supply. That's it. Heads up. Just point me to it.
I lost him. The Commonwealth is ours! We aren't gonna need that anymore. Hey. Damn. Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of gal. Hey there. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. Hi. So you got one of those fancy Volt suits. Those one size fits all. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> Damn it, Danny. Open up! You want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the Green Jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the common 
Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Is one of the foundations of a free society. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <coughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place, anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and uh, highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you. Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons comes I've up? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Officer? Head on inside. Mayor McDonough has always been against the Minutemen. I never quite understood why.
Favor puts on quite a show, huh? This place is all kinds of strange. Well, I guess we are a little different. Most settlements in the Commonwealth don't have people yelling at the top of their lungs about the Institute. Anyway, don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than out there in the Commonwealth. What's the Institute? Ever heard of the Boogeyman? Shadowy monster that takes people in the night? Well, that's the Institute. But they're just a fact of life around here. Someone gets taken by the Institute or gets killed by a raider. Which is worse. At least inside these walls, you don't have to worry about the raider. So what brings you to the Great Green Jewel? Looking for someone who's gone missing. Gone missing? Who is it? Friend? Relative? My baby was kidnapped. His name is Sean. Oh, I'm so sorry, miss. I can't imagine what kind of pain you're going through. I'm afraid missing people don't get found in Diamond City. God seems to have turned a blind eye to them. And with all the fear of the Institute in people's hearts, they've turned a blind eye as well. I'm lost, Pastor. I need help. Please. Well, I don't want to get your hopes up. But there is someone who might be able to help. Nick Valentine. He's a detective. Saved a lot of lives over the years, but so many more stay missing. And trouble has a habit of sticking to him. Thanks. I'll go talk to him. Take care of yourself now. Piper, you're back! Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if you don't replace it. Nah, you've been saying that for weeks and Anyone the little girl still keeps cranking. One of those Stop things. worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. Can you start whistling if you see any angry fair. politicians coming ah! away? Why? Is something wrong? Secretary, come on, Ma. Hey, I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. <gasps> Johnny, you believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout in. That's the booze. A real diamond suit. That a real vault suit? Sometimes you gotta wonder, the does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? All your modifications. That's a fairy tale. Scope, clip size, barrel. Got too much dirt in that hair? I hear there's a bar in the old theater that's for raiders only. Combat zone. Stay clear of those you. You're full of them. That kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the sins. Everybody, everybody, I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind, and that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years, and what keeps us united are two things. First, 
is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the anus allegations of the press. God bless this Heads up. City. What do you need? Go check that out. Got it. Look alive. Okay. Come on. What am I doing? Thank you.